Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel Journey with Vijay Kumar Srivastava. Today I am going to present the topic Mage Hybrid Seed Production. Before presentation, I would like to introduce myself. I am Vijay Kumar Srivastava. I have completed a MXC in culture with a specialized in agronomy from G.B. Pant University of Agriculture and Technology, Pantangari, 1996. So let's proceed to the presentation. First introduction about Mage Crop. Mage is the most widely distributed crop of the world being grown in tropical, subtropical and temperate regions from sea level to more than 3000 meters under irrigated to semi-arid conditions. Corn is a versatile crop and it adapts easily to a wide range of production environments. Mage is sown in both Kharif and Ravi seasons with the Kharif season output comprising 75% in total production. In India, Mage is cultivated over 8 million hectares with a production of about 20 million tons having an average productivity of more than 2.4 tons per hectare and it is contributing about 9% to the Indian food basket. India is among the top 10 producers of corn in the world ranking 7th in terms of production and it is having the 5th position in terms of area of production. However, despite this position, India only produces about 2% of the world's corn even though it accounts for nearly 5% of the world's area under corn. In India, maize is the third most important cereal crop after rice and wheat. Maize provides food, feed, fodder and serve as a source of basic raw material for the number of industrial products which are in various uses like starch, protein, oil, alcoholic beverages, food sweeteners, cosmetics, biofuel, ethanol, etc. No other cereal crop can be used in so many ways like mage and virtually every part of the plant has an economic worth. Today, in growing economic condition, the demand contribution for corn is growing and corn is contributing about 50% as a poultry feed and it is having the single largest consumer as a poultry. After that, maize is having the contribution of 11% in cattle feeds. In, in starch industry, it is contributing nearly 11%. Corn is also used as human consumption in food, flour and other food products, which is having 24% contribution. Industrial usage is oil and protein, alcoholic beverages, food sweeteners, lubricants, ethanol, etc. having 1% consumption and in Seed use is, is 1%. So, corn is having the various usage for its product. Now to study about geographical conditions for maize or corn cultivation. Maize crop is grown in warm weather tropical conditions where it is grown in a wide range of climatic conditions. About 85% of total acreage are under Kharif season which is under monsoon. Corn is grown in such widely diverse conditions under both physical and economic part that is difficult to generalize its environmental requirements. No other cereal crop is cultivated under such diverse conditions like corn and none is distributed so widely throughout the world like maize. As the climatic conditions are concerned, first one is temperature. Maize crop grows based with a temperature range of 21 degree centigrade to 27 degree centigrade for better growth and yield production. Frost is injurious to maize or corn crop. Therefore, 140 consecutive frost freeze days are required for maize cultivation. And as rainfall is concerned, corn needs a plentiful supply of moisture throughout the growing season. An annual rainfall of 62.5 cm to 125 cm is needed for best cultivation of maize crop with a monthly occurrence of 8 cm to 15 cm during the growing period. Enriched soils are related, fertile, well drained, alluvial or red loam free from coarse material soils which are rich in nitrogen are the best soils for maize. As topography is concerned, well drained plain level topography is good for maize cultivation but it is also grown on hilly areas. So here we can observe the corn can be grown in widely diversified areas and in different type of climatic conditions from plain to hilly regions also. 
फर्स्ट टू अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट इज हाइब्रिड सीड द सीड द एफ वन जनरेशन प्रोड्यूस्ड फ्रॉम ए क्रॉस बिटवीन जेनेटिकली डिसिमिलर पेरेंट्स एंड द हाइब्रिड बिगर और हेट्रोसिस इज द एब्सोल्यूट फिनमिन वेयर एक्सप्रेशन ऑफ द करेक्टरिस्टिक्स सच एज ग्रोथ रिलेटेड ट्रेड्स फ्लॉरिंग एंड इल्ड फॉल आउटसाइड द रेंज ऑफ इट्स पेरेंट्स विथ सुपरिटी इज कॉल्ड हाइब्रिड सीड हे टू डिस्कस द प्रिंसिपल्स ऑफ मेज हाइब्रिड सीड प्रोडक्शन इन मेज हाइब्रिड सीड प्रोडक्शन वी आर यूजिंग टू पेरेंट्स ए लाइन एंड आर लाइन ए लाइन इज नॉन एज फीमेल पेरेंट वेयर द डिटेसलिंग इज डन टू मेक फीमेल एस्टराइल एंड आर लाइन इज मेल पेरेंट विच इज मेल रिस्टोर लाइन विच इज फर्टाइल एंड इट इज सप्लाइंग द पॉलन फॉर द क्रॉस पॉलिनेशन वेयर इट्स पॉलन इज फॉलिंग ऑन सिल्क स्टिग्मा ऑफ फीमेल पेरेंट्स आफ्टर दैट आफ्टर आउट क्रॉसिंग क्रॉस पॉलिनेशन देर विल बी डेवलपमेंट ऑफ एफ वन सीड्स इन केस ऑफ कॉर्न हाइब्रिड सीड प्रोडक्शन देर आर डिफरेंट स्टेजेज विच स्टार्ट फ्रॉम सोइंग देन वेजिटेटिव स्टेज बूट लिप स्टेज फ्लॉरिंग स्टेज क्रॉस पॉलिनेशन स्टेज सीड डेवलपमेंट आफ्टर दैट मेच्योरिटी एंड हार्वेस्ट एंड वाट एवर द सीड्स इज प्रोड्यूस्ड आफ्टर हार्वेस्टिंग ऑफ ए लाइन इट विल बी एफ वन हाइब्रिड सीड्स विच इज यूज फॉर कमर्शियल कल्टिवेशन हेयर वी हैव सोन द पिक्चर ऑफ कॉर्न हाइब्रिड सीड प्रोडक्शन वी वेयर वी कैन ऑब्जर्व देर आर टू लाइन्स ऑफ मेल वेयर द टेसल्स आर एपियड अपर साइड एंड इन केस ऑफ फीमेल लाइन ए लाइन डिटेसिंग हैज बिन डन एंड द फीमेल पार्ट सिल्क फ्रॉम कॉप्स आर प्रजेंट वेयर आफ्टर द पोलिनेसन फ्रॉम मेल टेसल्स द पोलन आर फॉलोइंग ऑन सिल्क ऑफ कॉप्स वेयर आफ्टर द डेवलपमेंट देर विल बी फॉर्मेशन ऑफ एफ वन हाइब्रिड सीड इन केस ऑफ रो रेशियो इट कैन वेरी फ्रॉम फोर बाई वन टू सिक्स बाई टू by the ratio of female to male here to study important characters which should be present in hybrid like medium ear placement the cob formation should be on medium height from soil surface there should be single cob per plant and a stiff stem with a stay green leaf color which can be used for fodder for livestock leaf should be with medium width it should be narrow and erect type fully covered cob with medium cob angle pollen extrusion should be there because of which there will be good crossing and good seed setting which will result in ultimate high yielding now one of the character is deep sterility in cobs it should not be present if sterility is there there will there will be empty seeds in upper side of the cob so there should be absence of sterility after that ear girth which will represent the rods per cob which is one of the yield attributing characters in mage after that length of ear cobs where we can count the number of seeds per row and after that higher selling percentage so if such these characters are present it will be favorable for hybrids now we will study about different types of hybrids in mage process between males and females can be made in different ways to give rise to different kinds of hybrids like single cross hybrids which is cross between a into b this is one of the most important demanded product in market because of its high yielding capacity and good appearance after that three way cross hybrids then double cross hybrids modified single cross hybrids double modified single cross hybrids then modified three way hybrids and top cross hybrids we will study about each in details first one is single cross hybrids crossing between two desirable inbreds as a male and female parents and deriving f1 or hybrid from the cross is called as single cross hybrid this is the most modern commercial hybrid seed in mage it is now practical because modern inbred lines have been developed with adequate plant vigor to make good female parents a field planted with single cross seed is impressive because of its plant height ear height tasseling uniform silking pollen shedding and all other characteristics are extremely uniform 
बिकॉज ऑफ द अवेलेबिलिटी ऑफ एक्सलेंट इनब्रेड फीमेल पेरेंट्स सिंगल क्रॉस हाइब्रिड्स रिप्रेजेंट ऑलमोस्ट नाइन्टी परसेंट ऑफ हाइब्रिड कॉर्न सीड मार्केट जेनेटिक यूनिफॉर्मिटी ऑफ सिंगल क्रॉस प्लांट्स ऑफर्स ए पार्टिकुलर एडवांटेज फॉर हाई ईल्ड इन्वायरमेंट्स वेयर दे ईल्ड बेटर देन द बेस्ट डबल क्रॉस हाइब्रिड्स ओनली टू इनब्रेड्स पेरेंट्स आर इन्वॉल्व इन सिंगल क्रॉस हाइब्रिड सीड प्रोडक्शन ए हायर लेवल ऑफ रेजिस्टेंस टू डिजीजेज इंसेक्ट्स एंड अनफेवरेबल वेदर कंडीशन इज इविडेंट इफ एनी कंपोनेंट इज एडवर्स इट विल इफेक्ट ऑल ऑफ द सिंगल क्रॉस प्लांट्स रिजल्टिंग इन लोअर परफॉर्मेंस सो इन केस ऑफ एडवर्स कंडीशन वी कैन एक्सपेक्ट बिलो एक्सपेक्टेशन द परफॉर्मेंस ऑफ दिस हैबिट पॉलन सेड अकर्स ड्यूरिंग अ शॉर्टर पीरियड सिंस ऑल द प्लांट्स आर जेनेटिकली एलाइक सिमिलर विथ द पोटेंशियल फॉर लोअर इल्स एस्पेशली अंडर स्ट्रेस कंडीशन सो वेयर दिस सिंगल क्रॉस हाइब्रिड्स आर मोस्ट प्रिफर्ड इट इज डोमिनेटिंग द हाइब्रिड सीड मार्केट इन केस ऑफ नॉर्मल कंडीशन वेयर इन एडवर्स कंडीशन और स्ट्रेस कंडीशन देयर मे बी चांसेस फॉर लोअर इल्डिंग नो थ्री वे हाइब्रिड्स क्रॉसेस कैन बी मेड बिटवीन सिंगल क्रॉस हाइब्रिड ए इन टू बी इज द सीड पेरेंट विथ एन इनब्रेड लाइन सी एज ए मेल टू गिव पेडिग्री ऑफ ए इन टू बी इन टू सी सो हेयर इन केस ऑफ थ्री वे हाइब्रिड्स थ्री इनब्रेड्स आर यूज थ्री वे हाइब्रिड सीड इज प्रोड्यूस ऑन सिंगल क्रॉस प्लांट सो दैट ईल्ड एंड क्वालिटी मे बी इक्वल और नियर बाई सो टू डबल क्रॉस हाइब्रिड सीड्स The pollinator is an inbred parent, and this may add some cost to seed production. Three-way cross hybrids are more variable than single cross hybrids, and less variable than double cross hybrids. Advantages and disadvantages are likely to be between those double cross hybrids and single cross hybrids. Three-way crosses generally used for commercial popcorn productions. Since they produce more uniform quality, like popping expansion, pericarp thickness, than double cross hybrids, they are also commonly used for commercial sweet corn production. Since complete uniformity is desired for timely harvest and for uniform canning and table quality, so these three-way hybrids, cross hybrids, are the second after single crosses hybrid and better than double cross hybrids. third one is double cross hybrids double cross hybrids were first successful commercial hybrid seed in corn or maize these are produced by crossing two different single crosses giving the pedigree of a into b into c into d so here there are use of four inbred lines for the production of double cross hybrids double cross hybrids are permitted to produce a line by crossing of a into b and again pollen parent is produced by crossing of two inbred c into d so there are four four inbred lines used for production of such hybrids double cross hybrids allowed hybrid seed production to be a practical economic system that produced adequate seed that could perform well for farmers double cross plants are more variable than single cross or three way crosses they are not all alike genetically there will be some differences and allow breeders to bring more different desirable characteristics together into one hybrids than in possible in single cross hybrids the plants may be buffered more against unfavorable situations which frequently occurs eight one or more times during the growing season double cross hybrid plants also have a longer pollination period which tends to provide more complete filling of the ear with seed often resulting in higher yields lower seed cost are an obvious advantage where the yields of double crosses are equal or better than the best single crosses however fields of double cross hybrids do not possess the i appeal of single cross hybrids because the plants and ears tend to be more variable because of use of four different inbred lines may be more difficult to obtain a high level of diseases and insect resistance in double cross compared to single crosses double cross hybrids may not take full advantage of highly favorable environments as a well adapted single cross hybrids 
देर आर अनदर मैथड्स ऑफ हैबिट सीट प्रोडक्शन लाइक मोडिफाइड सिंगल क्रॉस हैबिट्स वेयर ए प्रोजनी फ्रॉम टू रिलेटेड इन ब्रेड्स इज द सीड पेरेंट एंड एन अनरिलेटेड इन ब्रेड्स इज यूज एज पॉलन पेरेंट देन डबल मोडिफाइड सिंगल क्रॉस हैबिट्स वेयर द प्रोजनी आर फ्रॉम टू सिंगल क्रॉसेस इज डेवलप्ड बाई क्रॉसिंग टू रिलेटेड इन ब्रेड्स आफ्टर दैट मोडिफाइड थ्री वे क्रॉस हैबिट्स इट इज द प्रोजनी ऑफ ए सिंगल क्रॉस इज फीमेल पेरेंट एंड अनदर सिंगल क्रॉस बिटवीन टू रिलेटेड इन ब्रेड्स देन टॉप क्रॉस हैबिट्स वन ऑफ द पेरेंट इज एन ओपन पोलिनेटेड वेराइटी एंड द अदर इज ए सिंगल क्रॉस हाइब्रिड और एन इनब्रेड लाइन्स सो दिज आर डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ हाइब्रिड्स विच आर यूज इन मेज एंड मोस्ट यूटिलाइज इज सिंगल क्रॉस हाइब्रिड्स हेयर टू स्टडी द प्री रिक्विजिट्स फॉर हाइब्रिड सीट प्रोडक्शन देर आर सम इम्पोर्टेंट पॉइंट्स दैट शुड बी कंसिडर्ड वाइल एडवांस प्लानिंग लाइक सेलेक्शन ऑफ गुड कंपेटिबल यूनिफॉर्म प्रोडक्टिव एंड डाइवर्स पेरेंट्स फॉर गुड सिंक्रोनाइजेशन एंड इल्ड पोटेंशियल देन प्रॉपर साइट सेलेक्शन वी हैव टू एवॉयड द साइट्स वेयर प्रिसीडिंग क्रॉप वॉज मेज इफ द फील्ड सेलेक्टेड वेयर द प्रीवियस सीजन्स मेज क्रॉप वॉज ग्रोन देयर विल बी इशूज ऑफ वॉलेंटियर प्लांट्स विच विल कंटेमिनेट द क्वालिटी सो सच फील्ड्स टू बी एवॉयडेड आफ्टर दैट फर्टाइल एंड क्वालिटी लैंड सेलेक्शन हैविंग एश्योर्ड इरीगेशन फैसिलिटी आफ्टर दैट प्रॉपर आइसोलेशन डिस्टेंस इन मेज सीट प्रोडक्शन एज क्रॉस पोलेशन टूक्स प्लेस सो देयर शुड बी optimum isolation distance conditions to avoid any contamination from foreign pollen there should be knowledge of recommended package of practices and technically experienced manpower and there should be a stress free season for the better yielding of the crop hybrid seed production it starts from seed to seed we have to use the foundation seed and again at the last we have to produce f1 hybrid seed so it is the seed to seed production process now we'll start with seed rate and spacing the seed source should be truthful it should be pure and free from any contamination or genetic purity issues or physical purity the female seed rate is used as a 5 to 7 kg per acre and male parent seed rate is 2 to 3 kg per acre it may be vary depending upon the kernel size and morphological growth patterns characteristics of parental lines and the generally a spacing is followed row to row 48 to 60 cm and plant to plant 15 to 20 cm a population of 30000 to 35000 per acre is required for the good yielding or optimum yield from the field and the time of sowing is concerned for most part of india hybrid seed production is done in south india in rabi season it is best suited for high yielding and best quality while in case of kharif we have to avoid the seed production because of heavy rains and there will be issues of washing of the pollen grains during flowering and harvesting also there will be rains which can damage the seeds quality so these are the seed rates and time of sowings as is planting or sowing of may seed is concerned we have to consider various important points like first one sowing depth it must be uniform to get a uniform emergence and ideal sowing depth is 3 to 5 cm in case of may and planting ratio it may vary considerably in respect of plant height pinnacle size the amount of pollen produced and duration of pollen availability and characteristics of male and female both parents after that planting patterns varies but most common is one row of male parent and four rows of female parent and secondly we are also using 4 by 2 ratio where male will be two lines and female will be six lines selection of parents must be planned so that the male sets pollen at the time of silk emergence from the female so nicking should be perfect 
ए मैथड टू इंश्योर सक्सेसफुल निकिंग विथ डिफरिंग मेच्योरिटीज इज द यूज ऑफ स्प्लिट प्लांटिंग एंड स्टेगर्ड सोइंग डेट्स फीमेल प्लांटेड ऑन ए डिफरेंट डेट्स देन मेल सो दैट सिंक्रोनस फ्लोरिंग अकर्स अदर वेज टू मेक माइनर वेरिएशंस ऑफ थ्री टू सिक्स डेज एडजस्टमेंट कैन बी डन इन पॉलन सेड यूजिंग वेरियस फर्टिलाइजर रेट्स ग्रोथ रेगुलेटर्स टू स्टिमुलेट और रिटार्ड डेवलपमेंट रिटार्डिंग ग्रोथ बाय क्लिपिंग और फ्लेमिंग ऑफ वन पेरेंट प्लांटिंग ए डिफरिंग सॉयल डेफ्थ और सीड कोटिंग्स एट्सेट्रा सो द पर्पज ऑफ स्टेगर्ड सोइंग इज टू गेट द सिंक्रोनस फ्लोरिंग बिकॉज ऑफ विच द पॉलन प्रोडक्शन पॉलन सप्लाई एंड स्टिग्मा ओपनिंग विल बी एट सेम टाइम विच विल रिजल्ट इन गुड क्रॉसिंग एंड गुड सीड सेटिंग नाउ टू स्टडी मैथड्स ऑफ प्लांटिंग एज वी आर प्लांटिंग फीमेल एंड मेल इन स्पेसिफिक रो रेशियो ऑफ फोर इज टू वन और सिक्स बाई टू सो मैनुअल सोइंग इज जनरली डन इन हाइब्रिड सीड प्रोडक्शन फील्ड्स द प्लांटिंग मे बी डन इन डिफरेंट वेज लाइक प्लांटिंग ऑन द रिजेज प्लांटिंग इज फरोज प्लांटिंग ऑन फ्लैट बेड विथ नो अर्दिंग अप एंड प्लांटिंग ऑन फ्लैट बेड विथ अर्दिंग अप एंड द सोइंग डेप शुड बी थ्री टू फाइव सेंटीमीटर्स टू गेट यूनिफॉर्म जर्मिनेशन एंड यूनिफॉर्म इमरजेंस एंड ग्रोथ हेयर टू स्टडी अबाउट एस्टेगर्ड सोइंग और एस्टेग्रिंग इट रिफर्स डिफरेंशियल सोइंग्स ऑफ मेल एंड फीमेल पेरेंट्स मीन्स डिफरेंस बिटवीन सोइंग डेट्स ऑफ बोथ पेरेंट्स टू अचीव proper synchronization of flowering of both parents during hybrid seed production staggering depends on flowering behavior of both male and female parents the aim of staggered sowing is to get matching of pollen setting of male and stigma opening of female simultaneously for best nicking to result in perfect crossing and seed setting now vegetative development In case of corn, there is hypogeal germination, where the epicotyl elongates and the cotyledons remains below the soil. So, corn seed is having hypogeal germination system. Germination begins when the seed reaches a moisture content of about thirty percent. Primary radical is followed by seminal roots, is the first organs to emerge from the seed. After twelve hours later, the coleoptile which covers the leaves ruptures the seed coat and is pushed out the surface by the elongating mesocotyle so these are the germination and development phase earthing is one of the important operation in hybrid maize seed production what is earthing up earthing up or ridging is the technique in agriculture and horticulture crops of filing soil up around the base of a plant it can be done by hand using a hoe or a spade or with powered machinery typically a tractor attachment earthing of soil around the base of plants during weeding is beneficial because it encourages growth of plants growth of adventitious roots provide strength to plant minimizes erosion from heavy rainfall weed control and helps plants survive certain pests Earthing up is done after thirty to thirty-five days of planting, so it will provide the support to the plants and protection from different hazards. Now weeding, two to three weedings may be necessary in hybrid seed production of maize, following which the crop is earthed up to provide the better extendability. No weeding is required after earthing up, which is done at the stage of thirty to thirty-five days of crop. and effective weed control can be obtained by spraying cymogen or atrazine at the rate 1 to 1.25 kg per hectare of 50% vegetable powder concentration before the crop germinates so these are pre emergence spray now irrigation it has been estimated that the maize crop requires about 50% of its total water requirement in a short period of 30 to 35 days after tasseling the most critical stages of irrigation during crop growth is during flowering and post flowering particularly during the grain filling period so these critical stages are the phase of the crop where if the there is problem of 
irrigation it is not provided timely there will be significant reduction in yields so we have to ensure the irrigation especially during this period fertilizer application in hybrid maize seed production to achieve high yielding or optimum yields we have to apply 25 tons of farmyard manure per hectare then we have to apply inorganic fertilizers at the rate 100 kg nitrogen 75 kg phosphorus and 75 kg potassium per hectare each basal dose later on 20th and 40th day after sowing we can apply 50 kg nitrogen and 25 kg phosphorus as a top dressing in a split basis then micronutrient deficiency zinc and magnesium deficiency occurs on leaves we can apply zinc sulfate at the rate 20 kg per hectare as basal fertilizer dose and apply micronutrient mixture at the rate 62.5 kg per hectare mixed with 40 kg sand after sowing the seeds. So because of this we can manage the better crop growth and better extending. Isolation is one of the very very important parameter in hybrid seed production. In case of mage we have to maintain the isolation distance of 400 meters means the one corn seed production field should be 400 meters away from another corn crop second isolation management system is isolation time where we can manage the gap of minimum 30 to 35 days from other corn crop having the different varieties good synchronization is one of the method to maintain the isolation Seed producers often say that the best isolation is a perfect nick. That is when the pollen parent starts seeding just before silk emergence in the female parent. An additional option may be used when it is difficult to get suitable distance or time isolation. This includes planting a barrier of male foundation seed of the same variety on all sides about 50 meters from the production block. So in case of some isolation issues are there if you are planting additional male rows from the boundaries, boundary sites maintaining 50 meters it will give the protection to contaminate from foreign pollen and this isolation distance also depends upon the wind velocity and season if the direction is in same way then we have to be cautious we have to select area or seasons where maize is not commercially cultivated to outcrossing. Through seed village concept also we can maintain the isolation issues. Generally in habit seed production we are managing the concept that one village should have only one hybrid or variety for production where one inbred or single cross habit seed production is taken in one village. Here to study about isolation distance, as corn is a cross pollinated crop, so recommended isolation distance should be followed strictly. The seed crop must be sufficiently isolated from nearby fields of the same crop of different varieties as per the requirements of certification standards. To avoid cross pollination and to produce genetically pure seeds, minimum isolation distance should be 400 meters. Seed village approach is commonly followed for certified seed production to avoid isolation problems. Even after the seed crop is harvested, effective isolation of seed from different varieties is essential to avoid mechanical contaminations. So we have to strictly follow the isolation distance of 400 meters. Here to study how seed village concept is important in hybrid seed production. It solves the isolation problems. Seed village concept helpful in maintaining genetic purity. It is having the easy monitoring because of compact belts. It reduces the maintenance cost and reduces the cost of transportation and finally reduces the cost of hybrid seed production and it ensures availability of seeds in time and solves the storage problem so in seed village concept because of compact area we can maintain the resources and operations in a easy way in habit seed production male parent is playing crucial role 
for the pollen supply and seed setting. So here we will study about characteristics of male parent. It should have lax tassel, long main branch with few secondary branches. And there should be long duration of pollen shedding which will maximize the crossing period. And it should be taller than seed parent. If it is taller then the pollen will be fall directly on silk and stigma. It should have attractive green color and a strong plant resistant to lodging with better root system. The male having the compatibility of high yield potential and it should be resistant and tolerant to biotic and abiotic stresses. If male parent is strong, it is having the high pollen shedding capacity, then ultimately there will be good crossing with female stigma, ultimately resulting in good seed setting and high yielding. Here to study the anthesis and pollination nature in hybrid seed production of maize. Maize is an example for protendry crop. Protendry means the crop where the male organ is emerging first after that female organ is arising. So in case of maize, first tassel will come outside. After that there will be emergence of silk which is female organ. Pollen setting begins 1 to 3 days before the silk emergence from the cob. It is estimated that a normal tassel produces around 2.5 crore pollen grains. And pollen is viable for 12 to 18 hours which is very very beneficial for good crossing. And silk remains receptive for 8 to 10 days. If silk receptivity is for longer period, there will be good crossing ability. And anthesis continues up to 2 weeks. So in case of corn hybrid seed production, we have to take care about 15 days, 2 weeks to maintain the proper crossing and genetic purity. Importance of the diagnostic traits. If we are going for hybrid seed production, we should have knowledge about the parental characteristics of both male and female parents. Lack of proper characterization of parental lines can be the cause of serious losses in seed production. As maize inbred lines typically have a large genotype and environment interaction compared to other crops, it is essential to obtain sufficient performance information on inbreds in their plant production environment. Of a special importance is to obtain information of leaf traits, attitude of plant growth, floral traits like silk emergence, anthesis, color of anthers, color of silk, floral synchronization means nicking, seed yields in female lines, pollen production capability of male lines and responses of inbreds to fertility pest disease and pesticides etc. So if we have prior knowledge, we can make the strategic planning in a different way. After harvest parameters like cob length, kernel arrangement, cob size, color of kernels and kernel types should be observed critically. The lines showing any deviations from the diagnostic traits must be rogued out or removed at appropriate stage of crop growth. So it is very very important to have the knowledge about diagnostic traits of parents. As we earlier discussed, roguing is very very important to maintain the quality in seed production fields. Here in case of maize seed production also we have to consider various points. Based on distinct and diagnostic characteristics furnished by breeders, we have to remove off-type plants, remove disease plants, latent weak plants to maintain the purity. The roguing should be done at different stages like first roguing should be done 15 to 20 days of crop where we have to remove vigorous plants from inbreds which are differing from original plants. Remove other undesirable plants which are late germinated which are having diseased or insect infestations and remove plants with variable leaf traits. Again second roguing can be done before flowering where we have to remove the plants with variable stem colors and remove weak plants or disease plants or the plants are having the different morphological characteristics. Then third roguing should be done 
at flowering before anthesis where we can remove the late plants which are not matching during crossing period so it should be removed otherwise late uh, pollen emergence or late silking will cause the issues of quality then here we have to remove the plants with variable heights variable plant characters and remove the plants with having the different tassels and husk trade so at the different stages we have to complete the roguing to rogue out all the parents which are differ from originals as flowering is concerned in hybrid seed production of maize hybrid seed production requires the female parent have its tassel removed or made infertile before it seeks emergence to avoid self fertilization it can be done in three ways first one is manually or mechanically removing tassel which is known as detasseling detasseling is the process of removal of female tassel before anther bursting to make female pure sterile line it must be done in 7 to 10 days between when tassel is ready to emerge and pollination fields inspected to ensure that no tassel should be missed yield reduction up to 10% due to detasseling is reported and yield reductions even greater with mechanical removals so we have to avoid any physical injury to the plants we have to ensure 100% completion of detasseling before silking in female line and 3 to 4 rounds are required on interval of 2 days gap to complete the detasseling process so here we can see in photographs the correct stage of detasseling and how it has been removed and the plant conditions after detasseling second method is use of parents that possess cytoplasmic male sterility system cms lines incorporation of a specific recessive genes into inbred parents that make pollen either sterile or delay pollen shed until well after silk of female parents have been fertilized by desired pollen use of cms lines narrows the genetic base and makes crop more susceptible to diseases there is no commercialization of cytoplasmic male sterility system in hybrid seed production so it is limited to the experimental study third is use of chemical to control pollen formation or viability male gametocytes to control pollen viability or production continue to be explored along with other techniques for flowering control such methods eliminate the costly need for physical removal of the tassel no chemical alternative means have yet been found as a practical alternative to manual or mechanical detasseling however studies are going on so presently detasseling is mostly adopted in maize hybrid seed production while use of cms lines and chemicals are under experimental study and these are very very limited is detasseling is one of the important process in hybrid seed production of maize so here we have to study what the precautions should be taken while detasseling first one to hold the stem below the boot leaf in left hand and the base of the tassel in right hand and pull out it in a single pull with slight jerk no part should be left on the plant as it causes contamination second it should be uniform process done daily in the morning in a particular direction and third do not break the top leaves as the field may be reduced due to the earning of source material to accumulate in sink seed as removal of one leaf causes 1.5% loss and two leaves causes 9% loss and three leaves cause 14% loss in yield so while detasseling we have to take care there should be not be physically injured to the plant third detassel only after the entire tassel has slightly come out and immature detasseling may be lead to reduced yield and contamination then fifth mark the male rows with marker to avoid mistake in detasseling sometimes male rows are also detasseled so marking is important sixth look out for shedders shedding tassels in female rows as they may cause contamination after pulling out the tassel drop it there on soil surface itself or keep out from field otherwise late 
that emerging pollen from detasel tassel may cause contamination do not carry the shaded tassels through the fields as any fall of pollen may lead to contamination so while detasseling we have to take care to avoid any contamination from the shading tassels or improper detasseling in hybrid seed production synchronization of male and female parent is very very important during flowering and how it can be achieved there are various means like first one is staggered planting where the male and female parents are planted on different dates as per their flowering behavior to synchronize during flowering where the pollen production and silk emergence will coincide which will result in good outcrossing ability and better seed setting second is manipulation in plant distance where we can use wider and narrow spacing during planting depending upon the morphological behaviors of the plants third is irrigation along with fertilizer application irrigation is one of the method to maintain the synchronization up to certain limits if some parents are getting delayed in such case we can stop the irrigation to that plant because of stress conditions there will be hastening of flowerings after that application of farmyard manure in either male or female parent to in, to induce earliness and vigor after that use of certain chemicals like growth regulators so by different means we can manage the synchronization up to the possible limits here to study the criteria for seed setting first one is male should be taller than female in such case the pollen grains will fall directly to the stigma of silk female parent because of which there will be good outcrossing ability then longer duration of pollen setting male should have characteristics of abundant pollen supply and pollen setting should be for longer period because of which the crossing period will continue for longer time then irrigation during dry spells to prolong pollen setting as flowering is one of the critical stage in case of maize hybrid seed production so irrigation should be supplied timely which will result in good pollen production and good pollen setting after that nutrient and irrigation management together while flowering which will increase the pollen production which will enhance the pollination process and increased seed setting after that stigma receptivity is one of the important factor for good seed setting a stigma should be receptive for longer period which will result in longer crossing time and good seed setting so during this time there should be proper irrigation supply to maintain the receptivity then synchronization of male and female parents in case of maize hybrid seed production the male should be two days early than female which will result in good crossing as emergence of stigma silk pollen will immediate go for crossing which will avoid the contamination from foreign pollen sites in any case so the genetic purity will be ensured when the male is advanced male descent should coincide silking then wind velocity is also important in cross pollination where the rows direction should be perpendicular to the wind direction because of which there will be good pollen movement and another factor is row ratio between male and female so it will depend upon the characteristics of male and female parents so optimum row ratio can be maintained so this will result in good seed setting there are some factors which are affecting hybrid maize seed production first one is planting ratio which is having the quantitative impact male female ratio depends upon the both parent characteristics if male is high pollinator it is it is having high plant height and good pollen setting capacity then we can increase the female ratio so if a female ratio is high there will be some higher side yield second is non synchronization of flowering it will result in poor seed setting and low yielding because if crossing is not there there will be low seed yield as seed setting will be impacted third is genetic drift 
the male and female characteristics their compatibility and combine combining ability it will affect the seed setting and yielding after that detasseling is one of the important parameter related to quality so it should be done timely and it should be perfect fifth is mechanical mixtures we have to follow all precautions to avoid any admixtures at field levels or at plant levels sixth is rogging which is the very very important parameter to maintain the quality so it should be done on correct stages and at appropriate time seventh is physiological maturity of the crop harvesting should be done after attaining physiological maturity because it will impact the germination and seed vigor eighth is harvest seed crop when the crop is attaining the harvesting stage it is ready to harvest then we should we should go for harvesting in crop weight in case of weight crop hybrids it should be done at 30% moisture ninth is post harvest operations after harvesting we have to go for post harvest operations including the sorting of off type crops which has varying depending upon the grain seed color grain color sank color its structure and after that after proper drying selling should be done so these are the factors which are impacting directly or indirectly the hybrid maize seed production here we have shown the pictures of maize hybrid seed production fields where we can observe the shedded tassels of male parent after that a stigma emerges from female parent then crossing a stage between male and female a real view of seed production field after that cob status after crossing the silk is drying and seed has been formed and after that maturity stage stage development of the crop so these are the various snfs here to study about major diseases in sex pest regarding plant protection aspect as diseases are concerned the some important diseases are tersicum leaf blight medis leaf blight polysora rust banded leaf and seed blights so these are the major important diseases which we are facing in hybrid seed production fields so the suitable measures to be adopted for the control timely by the spray of different chemicals after absorbing the diseased and insect infested plants in the field immediately it should be rogged out and destroying outside to avoid the further spread of the disease or insect as the insects are concerned shoot fly stock borer cob borer and fall army worm are the important pest in corn for which the suitable spray measures should be taken timely to control now to study about harvesting process in maize hybrid seed production fields in maize hybrid seed production there are two types of harvesting first one is for pet drying hybrids and second is wet crop drying hybrids in pet drying hybrids the harvesting is done when the crop is attaining the harvesting stage on plant itself while in case of wet crop hybrids the crops are harvested when the seed is attaining the moisture of 30% the so first we will study about pet drying habits in pet drying habits harvesting may begin as early as when developing kernels approach physiological maturity maize seed is commonly harvested with 15 to 25% moisture content the male and female lines must be harvested separately to avoid mechanical mixtures of seeds harvesting fully mature seed will result in maximum yield improved appearance of seed better seedling vigor in the subsequent crop greater resistance to mechanical injury while handling in the conditioning plant and reduce susceptibility to injury from high drying temperatures male lines are harvested first followed by female lines and the husks are removed manually post harvest operations as crop drying grading and selling is done in sunshine conditions now second type of harvesting wet crop drying hybrids wet crops are harvested at 30% moisture stage when kernels receive physiological maturity immediately the harvested produce should be transported to artificial mechanical seed dryer plants and feeding should be done on priority basis the harvested produce should not be stored in heap as it will cause fungal development and germination in 
cobs itself. So proper aeration should be maintained. Male lines are harvested first, followed by female lines. The husks are removed manually, and cobs are transported in netted bags for aeration purpose. So there are difference between dry hybrids and wet cob drying hybrids. Physiological maturity is one of the basis of harvest. What is physiological maturity? Corn seeds also have a black layer at the base of the seed. The layer forms at physiological maturity at about 30% moisture content and is an indication of maximum seed dry weight. So when we are receiving the black tip on the May seed, we should understand that physiologically matured has been gained and we can proceed for harvesting. After harvesting of the crop, we have to manage the post-harvest operations. We have to check that there should be no variations in cobs regarding their size, their color, their textures, etc. No variations in same color. And we have to remove diseased, pest-infested seeds, dissimilar or undesired cobs before selling. Cobs should be dried to optimum moisture before selling and seller should be cleaned thoroughly to avoid any admixtures and final seed moisture should be 12%. So we have to take care while post harvest operation because this is the final produce. So we should be more cautious to maintain the purity status. Here we have shown the mage wet cob dryer plant which is used in case of wet cob hybrids. Wet cob hybrids are harvested at the moisture of 30%. After that, the cobs are transported to dryer plant where it is fed to the bins and hot air is supplied as per the system. And this feeding to selling process is taking place 4 to 5 days. So it is very very important process where we can maintain the moisture percent and the all post harvest operations. Here we have shown the different parts of corn dryer plant. First one is feeding point where the cobs are fitted and on conveyor belts the cob sorting is done to remove out all of types or undesired cobs and after that on conveyor belts it is sorted out by the labors and the cobs are fitted to the drying bins. After drying the moisture is checked when it is coming to the desired moisture percent then these cobs are transported to the selling unit where the sellers are used after selling the grain seed is stored in the storage bins and it is bagged. So these are the process which are to be taken care in dryer plant from feeding, sorting, selling and after that storage and dispatches. Selling is one of the important plant operational process in maize hybrid seed production. Selling is a process to sell corn kernels of the cob for using as seed grain or feeding to livestock or for other uses. In case of hybrid seed production, this is exclusively used for seed purpose only. Different types of hand sellers, tractor operated or power sellers are used for selling purpose. Now quality assurance. The quality testing is done for final harvested produce where the representative samples are drawn from the seeds produced under certification program and subjects it to germination and other purity test required for conforming to varietal purity and identity. Under quality insurance program, there should be physical purity test, genetic purity test, germination test, vigor test and other experimental test. Physical purity test, this test is to find out the composition by weight of the sample being tested and by interference, the composition of seed lot, the identity of various species of seeds and inert particles in the samples. Physical purity is calculated by the formula working samples weight minus inert weight including other species and seed weight divided by working sample weight multiplied by 100. So it will result in percentage purity seed and it should be 98%. After that genetic purity test in case of corn grow out test is done grow out test is carried out with two major purposes evaluation of the varietal trueness of the lot for certification 
and enforcing the provisions of any seed regulation stipulating quality standards for trueness of time. Here the plant population is maintained 400 plants where replication are done for 200 seeds. Deviations from standard samples are recorded at flowering stage to validate genetic purity. So in grow out test the seed samples are grown in fields and observations are taken till the flowering and seed setting stage and the minimum recorded genetic purity should be 95 percent for maize seed production germination test the objective of the germination test is to determine the germination potential of a seed lot the percent germination is the estimated viability of a seed lot tested under specified conditions and within a specified period of time each test must consist of 400 seeds which are drawn from the working sample and then randomly divided into 4 replicates of 100 seeds or 8 replicates of 50 seeds. After that moisture test, the objectives of moisture test is to determine the overall moisture of a seed lot to establish optimal conditions for storage and to maximize the lifespan of the seed. Moisture testing must commence within 24 hours of received at the testing facility. Now seed processing. Process of removing undesirable material from the desired seed lot and various steps in preparation of seed for marketing is called seed processing. The objective of seed processing includes like ensuring high germination and seedling vigor, maintaining good appearance of seed, ensuring high physical purity and minimizing deterioration during storage. Types of materials removed during seed processing includes inert materials, common wheat seeds, noxious wheat seeds, deteriorated seeds, damaged seeds, other crop seeds, other variety seeds and unacceptably small size seeds. Seed processing includes various activities as cleaning, de-stoning, chemical treatment, packing, leveling and storage etc. Now quality seed standards in hybrid maize seed production. The pure seeds should be minimum 98%, inert material should be maximum 2%, other crops seeds should be maximum 10 per kg, other distinguishable varieties based on kernel color and texture should be maximum 10 per kg, germination should be minimum 90% and moisture should be maximum 12% and for vapor proof containers the maximum moisture should be 8% and genetic purity should be minimum 95%. So seeds should comply all these standards. So this presentation was all about maize hybrid seed production. Hope this presentation will be very very useful to all of you. Thank you very much. I have given here my YouTube channel details. Journey with Vijay Kumar Srivastava. Having request, please visit the channel, subscribe it and provide your kind and valuable feedback for further improvements in my next presentations. Thank you.